Hey there, it's Miktasen over here. So it seems that you wanted me to make a tutorial for you guys. Alright then, <laughs> here it is. Um, so today I'm going to make a intro tutorial uh, like this. So what what do you need for that intro is um, um, your social media like Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, YouTube, what, um, whatever you have up there. You need to get a um, PNG version of um, well like a uh, YouTube icon, and you can you can easily find that from uh, Google or I don't know somewhere from the inter internet. And also you need a certain plugin called uh, Saber. Uh, you can download it for free, uh, I can try and get that link for you guys in the description. But anyways, um, so here's how, how to start doing that intro. So uh, what do I like to do first is just make, make, the, um, make, the, make, the, make the particle background. So what you need to do is make a new solid, call it, um, I don't know, embers, and, that, and then also make another one called background. Uh, drag it down over here and then just go to the effects and presets and look for a effect called uh, CC particle world so I just um, adjusted my uh, particle world over here so I'll, uh, I'll show you guys what are my settings for that so my birth rate over here is 5 uh, longevity is 1 second and uh, uh, go to producer uh, and then you have the settings over here, you can copy them if you want to. Uh, then let's go to physics and then change the gravity to do minus one because then uh, it, will, it will just make your um, particles just go next, fly up, if you know what I mean. Let's say that I'll make it um, to number five, then you can just start this. Uh, they're kind of just like falling down, if you can see. So you just uh, make sure to put it on minus one. Uh, also change your velocity to uh, 0 0.86. With velocity you can just um, uh, control where you want your um, particles to move. I like my velocity to be on 0 0.86. Uh, I think there's something else over here. Uh, let's go to a particle now. Uh, here you can just choose your colors. I can just like do a light blue and then add like a dark blue or purple I do what, what you want to do change the birth size to 0 0.05 like, like you can see over here um, and then depth size to 0 because you, you you want them to like fade out and also make your particle particle type to shaded sphere uh, that should be it for that then you should have you should see some of these particles just flying around over here and if you want to uh, you can just um, uh, if you want to make them, uh, make them to fly around your uh, screen uh, in the slower, just go to uh, time, time stretch, and change it to like 400 or something, and then they're just moving a bit slower, and make sure that you have it on motion blur and enable it, and then it just makes it um, feel a bit more realistic, then, I guess. If you want them to even glow more, then what you want, uh, what you want to do is just um, look up a uh, Look up an effect called glow. Uh, <coughs> here it is. Add it over here, and, and then just copy this. Uh, copy your particle colors in. So this one should be light blue, and this one dark blue. And like like you can see, pretty much just make it glow a bit more. It's like that effect. And then on the background, here you want here's what you want to do. So what you want to do with is to find an effect called gradient ramp and then drag it to your uh, background layer here you can just um, change your colors to whatever you want to, to 
want to be like you can you can make them do red or purple whatever you want to do um, and this should be it for the background so now what you're gonna do is create a new composition and you can call it like text or something there we go make it last about 10 seconds uh, copy the setting over here if you want to read that and then create a new solid uh, call it saber and then also create oh no uh, create a text you can just put whatever your name like let's just say name I guess <laughs> oh, actually and just put my own name over here uh, there we go, you can make it a bit, a bit bigger if you want to. How about that, I guess. There we go, make sure you center that. And if you can see a line uh, in here, just go to Window, and then just uh, click, on, click on here, and then you should see it. Uh, so now, just drag it, drag it down here. Um, click the eye, eye icon over here. And then add effect called Saber over here. There we go. Um, so go to customize core and then make text layer and then put your your name or whatever you need your name or text over here and then here you can just choose whatever preset you want to use on your saber text like you can use mess to make it some kind of a uh some kind of a foggy text if you want to do that or here you can just make um one of the, one of my favorites electric te text just drag down uh, the the glow intensity to about like 38 or something. And there we go. Or we can keep it on 58, whatever you like. Uh, but what do I personally like to use on this kind of uh, intro? Uh, I use usually neon and drag the uh, the glow drag down to like 28 or something. And then here, just uh, click on the stopwatch over here, and then just like. Pick a color, like let's say orange, why not? And then drag it down to here, and then pick like I don't know, maybe her, her um, pink, something like that. And um, that's it for the text over here. And then let's go back over here. Text, drag text right over here above the um, uh, above the background over here. Also, let me just change one thing. Uh, it doesn't really look good on that. Uh, let me just change that to like this color and maybe that's like a bit darker blue maybe. Yeah, that should be it. And also, if you can see your um, your background over here, like you can't see anything over here. That's because like um, your text, like your saber text, is is just on black mode, I guess. Com composition is just on black, so you can just. Uh, um, put it on transparent and then go back to tutorial and then you, you should see your background over here uh, Also, I have a song over here. Let me just quickly Drag it right over here mm, There we go uh, So first actually I usually just uh, mark down the beat the beat mark over here like I usually do on my montages and stuff uh, because then I can just like sync the um, sync all the animations and stuff to the beat, so it it would just I'm gonna see more proficient than I guess. So let me see, let me hear that song. Oh, actually, before I do anything, I usually just um, stop watch that, make it like 20, 60, and then go forward to like 20, 20 frames or something like that, and then put it on zero, so it has like that. Um, uh, fade in effect on that. Okay, so now I just just like um, play the song and then uh, look for the beat marshal here. So here should be one over here. Uh, put on that. Okay, I should just um, put it over here and here. Okay, I'm just going to speed this part up so you guys just don't have to look at me just. Uh, put it on the beat marks. So yeah, I'll, 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 be, I'll be right back. Alright then, um, so we have 
successfully um, marked all the beat points were over here. Well, not all of the song, but like a bit of it. So now, what you wanna do is just like go to the part where the where your song's beat drops. So mine uh, drops right over here, and then I usually just track the color right over here, cut it out, mm. and then what I usually do is just start animating the text. So first, what I do is add again the fade in, fade out effect to the clip. So uh, press T, uh, stop with the opacity to zero, go forward like 20 uh, frames and then put it back to 100 and then do the same thing to your background so copy that and then paste it on both of them there we go and also what I usually want, like to do is just add the blur transition that I got from Kali Edits' um, editing pack so blur transition um, just press U and then select all of them and drag it right over here and then cut it up from there and then you should have a pretty good uh, a fade, fade in effect in there with the blur. Let me just run it real quick. Something like that. So now what I, what I do is just uh, press S, Shift R, and then it will re reveal you scalar rotation. And then stopwatch both of them. And then what I usually just like to do is just put, it, uh, put the scale on one, 130 and then the rotation to 10 or minus 10. Um, then go to your first beat mark, put it on like, I don't know, 121 I guess, and then put the rotation on minus 12. Uh, go to the next one, mm, put it on like, I don't know, 118 I guess. You can, you can just put um, uh, a random scale to here, uh, unless it's not that it's not big of a number. Like you can't put like 200 over here, like 200. It's it's too big. Just put like um, something uh, in between 110 and 122, something like that. Between that, and that's okay. And um, so 118, and then put that on like I don't know eight, I guess. And then do the same thing to the other ones until you get to the end of here. So I'm just put like 119, um, minus 9. That's right, no, it's not. There we go. Um, put like, I don't know, like 116. Mm, 6. And the, and the last one I usually just like to. Um, Put it on like 122, and then maybe just 12. And now what you want to do is go back to your first, uh, your first keyframes over here. Go back to 10 frames, so you can just like press uh, page up uh, like 10 times, like one, two, three, four, five. Or uh, what I'd like to do is just press shift and page up, and then uh, it will automatically, automatically just uh, step back 10 frames. So anyways, put that um, go 10 frames back and then uh, put the scale on 100 and then the rotation on 0. Uh, and then select them, copy it and then do the same thing to other keyframes over here. So like that, like that and like that. And then highlight all the keyframes over here. F9, or you can just uh, right click, uh, key from assistant, and then easy ease. But I'd like to do it with F9, it's much easier for me. So go over here, and then here you see a graph. Now, that might seem like a bit confusing to you, but don't worry, you'll get it soon. It's, it's all about the practice, my dude. Zoom into the scale one over here. The scale graph, oh no. Uh, so just click on that, and then drag it right. Drag it um, as far as you can drag it, and then drag this one a bit upwards. So you, it will just like add this kind of um, bounce effect, I guess. You'll see in a second. Then drag this one down a bit, so it could just like mm, 
move back to the uh, to its original spot mm, smoothly, I guess. And then the same thing to every keyframe over here. Drag up, drag down. Don't try to do down. It might seem a bit weird. And again, try here, drag up, drag a bit down, uh, drag up. Uh, here we go. And then the last one, just track this one to the end, and then move on to the rotation craft. Uh, so just click on that. Do the same thing. Uh, same thing again. Uh, what you done uh, on scale graph? Just like. But you have to uh, drag this one down, just uh, take this one, drag a bit down, like that. Here we go, try to drag it upward. Um, then hold up, and like that. there we go. Uh, and then when you're done with all the keyframes, uh, then you should have a pretty cool animation to your text. Kind of a zoom in, zoom out balancing effect, I guess. I don't know. Okay, this should be it. So now uh, you can just save that by pressing Ctrl and S, and then uh, just press cache before playback. Then you can just like cache all the um, stuff from, uh, from your uh, project, and then press the spacebar, and then it will just uh, render all the things. And then you can just uh, pre preview it in six different per second. Oh, hold on. Be before we even do that, make sure to put it on motion blur because then it will make it look a bit better. So, look like that. Let it render it out. And then you should have something like this. <laughs> It seems, it seems uh, pretty easy to make actually, and it is. Um, so, anyways, um, let's go back over here now. Since you have the text ready now, um, so now what I usually do is just um, take my social media, like maybe I don't know, Insta. Go back over here, make it a bit smaller so it could have some and then just, I don't know, I guess, enough of here, right, I guess. So now, now, I just um, go 15 frames back, so 10, 1, 2, 3, 5. Drag it over here, now right click on it, and then press pick and pose. And let me set it over here, and then press OK. Now, um, let's press T up over here. Uh, Stop watch it and then go 15 up on a zero and go 15 frames ahead. So, okay, fine. 15 frames and then drag it up. And, yeah, okay, there we go. And then um, go, in, go here. Here you should have your social media over here. You can press this one to It could just make your mode a bit easier, than I guess. Now, just create a new solid. I can take it as saber, I guess, or whatever you call it. Add the saber, saber effect with it. Saber, and then take this attacking to uh, up here, and then just take a random mask over here, and, yeah, no and then go to custom score, and then select layer mask. So anyways, now then, um, what I'd like to do is just. Go uh, render settings, make it transparent, and then first make the settings right. So go to neon, uh, then like 28. Uh, blue, so make it blue, and then go back over here, and then make, make, make it a bit like I don't know, thank you, something like that. Um, and then press T to open up opacity again, make it zero, and then uh, you can just, just line up your mask with the, the social media record here, zoom a bit, uh, go down. Right, 
last one is kind of perfectly, so it just looks better. Then zoom back down and zoom back out. Then make the passive again 100, and then you should have a saber around your cooking media. Save it and go back to the tutorial. Um, and you have this one there. Now we're here, and now you pretty much do the same thing with your uh, like the tag. Instagram effect over here, so oh no, there we go. Save that and just play it back. And then we now we have that. And this is pretty cool. And then it pretty much is it. It's just uh, you do the same thing with all your social media. Just um, take your screenshots of whatever you have over there, uh, pre compose them, add the saber, and then just animate their skin rotation. But I guess you guys are, are wondering then how to do the thing with my with the YouTube icon, I guess. It's not that hard to do actually. So let's see, I'm gonna just take that uh, white piece here, so it's like right over here. And just drag this one a little bit. This one's a bit bigger. And what, uh, if you're wondering why is my, um, my video so pixelated, it's because I'm. Um, my resolution is um, on quad right now because, like, if I, if I render it on full, then it would take me. Too long to render it, so I just want it to be um, really fast. Pretty fast. So I'm going to put that back as a folder. And again, what I said, just recompose that. Uh, go over here. Uh, you can just put that over here. Let it make sure thing easier. Full. Uh, saber. Uh, effect. Add the saber effect over here again. So I can Maybe read your mind. Before we continue with the saber uh, effect over here, uh, what I'd like to do is make another solid and then take this, put on this thing over here, I don't know what it's called, and then put that over here so you can. It would just uh, automatically just um, pick the color, this color, you'll see in a second. Uh, so, Drag it uh, down over here. So, anyways, now what you want to do is click on that and then go to effect of three dots over here and then look for uh, color E. And then add it over here and then again do the same thing, like this one over here. And now what you want to do now is uh, hide that from here right now, but um, click on the background and take a rectangle tool. And make a bit bigger uh, shape of that. Same with a bit bigger shape. And then just here you now have the background. And then over here, look for color key effect and then add right, right to your YouTube PNG thingy. And then just take that color. And then now you should really see that, um, that gray color in the background. Uh, so now, uh, just okay, so now when you have um, done that, make sure that they're perfectly in the middle. So like that, like that. The thing over here too. Okay. And then now what you want to do is just press P, position. Um, no, okay. So keep keep your position over here. 
go back to uh, the main, main uh, go back to the main composition here with the with just editor intro. So now uh go to this um mark over here, go back to the this one over here and then drag it a bit over here. Drag it a bit over here so you can just like uh, add some room to the light on over here, so there should be enough. Then go back over here, over here, and then drag your your bell icon here. Okay, so now just drag uh, drag the bell icon. Um, Below your uh, YouTube one, uh, YouTube your screen channel over here. Um, back in the 10th frame, actually, 20 frames actually. Uh, make position again, position and then keyframe it. Go ahead, 20. Back, go ahead, back again, 20 uh, frames and then drag it over here. No, 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 and then um, select them all again. That's nine. And then before you do anything, separate dimensions. So you can just like um, control uh, your uh, your X and Y positions uh, separately. Uh, so and go over here. So uh, uh, drag this one to the end over here, and then drag this one a bit. Back over here, so it would just have like a, like a nice smooth ending. So do the same thing over here, and then make, uh, make sure both of them are motion blurred. Save it, and then let's see how it looks like. Yeah, okay, let's go. Now let's go back over here. Now, uh, one thing I forgot to do is uh, let's go back 20 frames, uh, press P, and then again uh, keyframe the position over here. So now just drag it, drag it, uh, drag it to the left until you can see in, uh, see your uh, Instagram social media over here, like that. I found it. There we go. Uh, we'll over here and do the same thing, only go 20 frames ahead and then keyframe it and go back to 20 frames and then drag it over here so you can see Let's mind them. Uh, yeah, separate them. Drag this one upwards, and then this one again down, and then drag this one almost to the end. Make sure we go motion blur. Before we do anything, let's add the saber effect to this to YouTube. So let's go back over here. Go like over here, and then let's see what we have over here. So let's see, we have like this um, this, this nice smooth um slide in animation, or like yeah, slide animation. And now let's just add um, the scale and rotation animation to it too. So you have. So, I'm 
now, now you can see that uh, now we have this nice um, social media intro over here. Like, I'm not going to do all social medias because it's pretty much the same thing over and over again. Uh, but if you want, uh, if you want them, if you want your uh, your transitions between your social media be a bit like smooth. One thing you can always add is blur transition uh, the, uh, between your social media, so it will just look it will, it, it will just look uh, uh, smooth, I guess. Or you can just uh, do some other. You can just test and just um, yeah, you can just do whatever tra transition you want. But I just like to use this blur tra transition. But I think that's it for my tutorial, I guess. Mm, thanks a lot for watching it, I really appreciate that. By the way, I'm probably going to make another tutorial uh, when I hit 500 subs. Uh, it's going to be about how I make my own montages. So, yeah, I can't wait for that. <laughs> thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later then. Peace.